A few days ago, Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer began post-production, and we know that it won't be long before we'll be seeing the traditional release of the teaser trailer for his highly anticipated film. Nolan has always followed a template when it comes to the first looks at his blockbuster films, and based on releases coming this month and other interesting details, I think we may very well likely be seeing the first teaser trailer for the film. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the potential trailer release date of Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, alongside whether the film could be having an IMAX prologue later in the year too. But before I get into it, if you want to see more updates and videos on the work of directors like Christopher Nolan, then don't forget to support this upload by giving it a like rating, subscribing to the channel, and turning on your notifications. Also, feel free to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, and Instagram at Cortex Videos, which is all linked in the description below. But without further ado, let's dive into the likely trailer dates for Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer. So on a few of my recent Oppenheimer community posts and comments on my previous videos, I've had viewers discussing when the potential trailer for Christopher Nolan's film could come out. And this is because there's a traditional template that Nolan tends to follow with the release of every blockbuster project he makes. Since The Dark Knight, Nolan's previous studio Warner Brothers have released the first teaser trailer for his films around exactly a year before the release date and they are usually released online. Other than the Tenet teaser, which was only shown in theatres in front of Hobbs and Shaw back in 2019, most of the trailers have had online releases. Dunkirk, which like Oppenheimer had a $100 million budget, released its teaser trailer online on August 4th, 2016, and the film came out at the end of July in 2017. So it's been around a year before his last two theatrical releases. And the same thing goes for Interstellar, The Dark Knight Rises, Inception, and The Dark Knight since 2008. For all of them, the trailers have dropped between 11 to 12 months before the release date of the actual films. So that leaves us with the question of whether Oppenheimer will follow suit, and will it mean that we'll see the teaser trailer in July or August this year? Well, based on this history of Nolan teasers, I think we might be seeing that happen. The one thing to keep in mind is that if this is going to happen again, will Nolan push the theatrical release of this trailer, like with Tenet, and if that's the case, what film could it be shown in front of? Well, I think like with Dunkirk, we'll be seeing the first trailer in front of a film, but also simultaneously released online. I think he'll want to follow the sort of marketing campaign that Dunkirk had, because for a $100 million World War II film, it remains the highest grossing in history. So for a World War II biopic of the same budget, I think he might follow this route. So say he does go with this expected strategy, what film might the Oppenheimer trailer be shown in front of, and what could that tell us about the release date of it? Well, I think there's only one big candidate for the whole of July and August. The only big IMAX film releasing in that time following For Love and Thunder is Jordan Peele's Nope, and if you remember of an article from a few months ago, it was said that Christopher Nolan and Jordan Peele are both working together to aid the development of a new IMAX camera. Like all of Nolan's recent work, Oppenheimer has been filmed with IMAX cameras, and both him and Peel are trying to raise the bar with a new camera that's being described as the future of blockbuster filmmaking. So what better way to continue that collaboration by teasing a trailer drop in front of Nope, which would also help Peel's big screen film releasing that July. And the most telling thing about this being the likely option is that Nope releases on July 22nd of this year in the USA, which is just under a year before Oppenheimer releases. And the studio of both Nope and Oppenheimer is Universal Pictures. So for one, it would fit the yearly pattern of Nolan's teaser trailers. Two, Nope is the only big IMAX film releasing in the next two months. Three, Nolan and Peele have a current working collaboration when it comes to the future of IMAX 
IMAX and film, and four, Universal would want to tease what's coming in the future, with them being the distributor of both films. If I had to be honest, I think we will see something around July 22nd, but if Nolan and Universal decide to go the Dunkirk route and just release it online instead, then it might also come at the start of August. So essentially, between July the 22nd and the middle of August is when I think we might be seeing the Oppenheimer teaser trailer release. Again, I'm not talking about a full length trailer or an IMAX prologue, I'm talking about the first look one minute teaser that Nolan traditionally releases a year before. But yes, we'll have to see if Nolan will once again follow that pattern, and it has to be kept in mind that this is the first time he isn't with Warner Brothers when it comes to following that schedule. Maybe it will be different with Universal Pictures, and instead, they might drop the first trailer a bit later down the road, but I think with Nope also being a Universal film, it makes this theory a lot stronger, especially if Nolan is aiming to keep to that traditional trailer drop. We'll soon find out, but again, because of the decades of Nolan films following this example, I'd put money on this being the option taken here too. Something else I thought I'd discuss while I mention it in this video is the potential for an IMAX prologue with Nolan's Oppenheimer. Now, I think most of us would assume that Nolan is going to follow his other films and release an IMAX prologue around six months before the release date of his film, which in this case would be this December. Like the previously mentioned teaser pattern, Nolan and his team also have a structure for releasing the opening five to six minutes of IMAX IMAX footage from his films, only in theatres and around half a year before they release. And to be honest, the best option that I can see for this if it happens with Oppenheimer would be Avatar The Way of Water this December. You've got the sequel to the most successful film of all time, and I think Nolan would love that to be the target to impress audiences with the opening to his new film. There are other options too, but nothing really comes close to Avatar 2 this December. December, and with it also being an IMAX release, it would make complete sense to show that here. Now, for all we know, there may not be an IMAX prologue since this is more of a biopic film, but with Nolan choosing to shoot select sequences in IMAX, I can only guess that there's going to be something here that calls for an early preview in the format. Universal did reveal that the IMAX in Oppenheimer would be black and white analogue photography for the first time. So who's not to say that the IMAX footage is something to contrast the many dialogue scenes with Killian Murphy's character? We'll have to see, but with the huge cast and the potential of this film and story, I think we're also going to see a big marketing campaign, and with these rumoured strategies, I think it will begin very soon. But that was my video discussing my and other fans theories on the trailer release date and IMAX prologue for Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer. We'll soon find out if the first trailer will release this month, but like I said, Nolan has continuously followed this release pattern with every blockbuster film he's put to screen, and I can personally see him doing the same thing here. Again, I think the teaser trailer will release either on July 22nd with Jordan Peele's Nope, or at the start of August, and then I think the IMAX prologue will be shown before Avatar 2 this December. But that's just my early predictions on all of this early marketing for the film, and I'm intrigued to hear what your thoughts are on when the first teaser trailer for Oppenheimer will release. So let me know down below in the comment section. For more updates and videos on Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, then subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like rating and follow me on social media via the links in the description. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been Cortex, and as always, make some noise.